Get your own camp. Somewhere far <laughs> from here. Get lost, will you? I Just said... minding my own business. for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute now. Just focus on the shackles. That's all, please. So how'd you end up like this? Come on, dude. You know? Oh, 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 yes, yes, perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, I was stuck in line with this thief from up in the Grizzlies. Says there's a family up there, real strange, but rich. Loaded up, he said. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. I'd keep low if I was you. Yeah, you got that right. Come on, girl. the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. 
Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a kite. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Leave it. You don't want me chasing you. Kyle, feel. Damn you, bushy tail bastard. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Kyle. Well, well. Got you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm, can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Yeah, there we go. everywhere you see Sean no I don't think so damn it where's Trelawney who knows just keep your eyes open I am mm. <clears throat> where is that little Irish best I'm not quite sure Trelawney's off trying to find out Has anyone been in the black water see how things lie place is crawling with Pinkertons bounty hunters and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea ah. Oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, 
We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. This woman, Heidi McCourt, some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Another straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? Get the one, Arthur. She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Turn. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur! Don't move. Come on, let's get up there. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there. A pleasure.
this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these equal putas! You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Okay, girl. You stop right there. In the name of the law, what do you know about that corpse?
damn time. Ugh. Rotten pig fucker. Never did no right by me. Not since I was six. Well, glad you're feeling so good about all this. Hey, he brought this on his damn self. Where my fault this brain got out about damn demons. Give me a minute, please. What you need, sir? Happy to help you start over. Thank you. Hope you clean up your act. What you need to send? Thank you. Company, if I'm honest. The past six months or so, I ain't been around many people. Regular folks, at least. Ain't sure if you heard of a group called the Shalonians? I, I guess you could call it a religion. Obsessed with turtles, which maybe should have struck me stranger sooner. I know. You wouldn't believe it. Folk always say I'm too trusted. I mean, I don't know you from Adam, and here you are sitting at my fire. Anyway, I more or less handed my life over to them. I met a very persuasive fella in San Denis. Andres his name was, and he caught me at a bad time. Hell of a thing, right? It's that I... I've been given over to some poor living, real poor living, kind of behavior the devil himself would be ashamed of. They promised me safety, salvation, paradise, all very appealing to a fellow like me. Got to the point where I'd given them every cent I had and I was ready to follow them off a cliff. I just got out in time. Maybe it was the turtles or maybe it was just I didn't have the spine to go through with it. All seems ridiculous now looking back. The things we'll do for answers, huh? Anyway, sorry to ramble on. I should get back to it. You must have one of them familiar faces. You don't know me, friend. This ain't good. Hey, this ain't my business. <laughs> Bye. Let's go, girl. Stop right now. One more step! And I shoot you dead! Now since we're holding this...
Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> All the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, won't he? Have some fun. He's been drinking. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, Mark, well, what I do is say. And she was Mr. Summertrain. It was diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. I say. She says, young man, you're rather free. For a diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather free. For a diddle, diddle, diddle all day. Let's play down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle. <laughs> you all right there, Reverend? Yes, yes, happy to have young Sean back. Yep. Mr. Esquela, 